Are you doing events and mixers to get more leads into your business? Well, today I'm going to share three things that you need to be doing in order to stand out, build relationships, be memorable, and create an experience. My name is Shauna Anderson New, president of Spitfire Advertising, and this is exactly what we help our clients with. Today I'm going to show you what we just did for one of our clients. His name's Mike. He came to me and said, I'm out here, I'm doing these mixers and these events, and you know what, I have this name badge I wear and it's just like everybody else. It's got a company name, it's got my name. You know, some people have a title, some people will put a website on it, but basically everybody is the same. He's like, I need to be different. My business is different, I wanna be different. I need your help. So I put my thinking cap on, got my, creati my creativity wand out, and I went on my way. I thought about what Mike and his business do for their clients. So they do internet marketing. As he says, he is passionate about helping business owners navigate the treacherous waters of internet marketing. So that's creating their websites, search engine optimization, uh, pay-per-click, Yelp, all of those things that, you know, as most business owners, we're not very good at, so we need somebody like Mike to, to come help us out. He's also the author of the book, Internet Marketing Basics for Business Owners. You can go check out his website at getfound.us. There's lots of things there that I'm sure he can do to help you with your business. So I'm asking myself, how can I tie what he does into this name badge to make a difference? His quantity is one. So I need to be careful about looking at his budget and you know what we're really trying to do with this because I only have one piece I'm making and I don't want it to be super expensive for him. So looking at his company, I'm looking at you know what, he's technology, he does internet marketing, it's digital. Where do people go when they're looking on the internet? Well, I know statistically that most people are on their phones when they're cruising the internet, when they're looking for things going on social media, etc. So I thought I can take this regular name badge, right? That's rectangular, has rounded edges, and I could flip it on its side. And now what do I see? I see an iPhone. On the screen, I can do a Google search showing get found at the top of the search. And I know that Mike wants to make sure that we emphasize that he has his 500% ROI guaranteed. By the way, that's pretty awesome. And I want to make sure that that's on there. And his name and his company name have to be the biggest element on that name badge because it is still a name badge. I showed it to Mike. He absolutely loved the idea. We went with it. When you're out networking, remember this is the first time people are meeting you. You want to make a good impression. It's hard for people to remember people's name, especially when they're at an event and they've met so many people. Putting that name badge on makes it easy to be remembered. People are visual. The brain processes visuals faster. If you just said the name, if you said your company name, the chances of it being remembered are not even close to being the likelihood as if they had actually read and seen your name, your company name. So think outside the box. What can you do for your business? The second thing is business cards. You know you're out there networking. People are going to ask for your card. Are you going to do that plain old boring business card? The paper one that everybody else is doing that gets put in that stack that sits on the desk and no one ever looks at again. Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to do something that's fun, that's memorable, that creates an aha, excitement, and experience? I want you to do a fun business card. So thinking about what we did for Mike and his name badge, what business cards could we do? Okay, we can do a microfiber cloth. It ties in with the tech theme. Remember, tech and get found is what I'm working with now for him. So that imprint area, we could do it and make it look like that iPhone. So we're tying those two together. So when they see it, they're remembering him, they're remembering that name badge, they're remembering his face. And on the screen of it, we can position it to be what's in it for the client. So we're taking his products and his services and writing it out in a way that's what's in it for the client. So when they're reading it, they're like, that's what he can do for me? I need to, I need to hire Mike. We can also do a music download card, tying in with the tech theme and put it on a headphone winder card. This way they take their headphones, they wind it around the card, their headphones are never a tangled mess in the bottom of their purse, their car, their gym bag, wherever they're using those headphones at. 
We can do the same type of idea with the Tech Taco. So cute, I love this item. Definitely, if you haven't done this for your marketing, do this for your marketing, it's a lot of fun. We can also do a lip balm. We can say, we'll help you get your name on their lips. We can also do seeded paper. So the marketing piece can list out some products and services. Again, what's in it for them? Why should they care kind of theme in the copywriting? And then they plant the seeded paper and flowers will grow. So if we can add a tagline on there that says we can help your business grow, we can help your, your number of leads, your number of opt-ins grow, whatever it is that they're, you know, we think that the main goal is that Mike's service will actually solve for them. We can do credit card size mint. So these are the size of a credit card. Instead of doing the imprint horizontally, on the case of that, the mint, we can flip it vertically and put it so it looks like the iPhone. And again, in that Google search, we can put the copy that we want to in there to entice them to use Mike. We can also do a cell phone wallet. That's the wallet that sticks on the back of the cell phone. Super popular. There are even options we can do that have the RFID blocker to help with identity theft. You can put your paper business card in there. You can put an offer for a free consultation or another free service or something that you wanna promote inside of there as well. Those are very popular. So think about what you can do when you're handing out your business card that's not the same as everybody else in the room, that's not the same as your competition because the whole point is for you to stand out and show that you're different and that they need to work with you. And number three, the handwritten card. You have to do your follow-up and following up with a handwritten card really shows how different you are because nobody does it. Nobody is doing it these days, so you really can stand out by doing it. Make sure on the front of the card, it's something, a visual or a quote or something that ties in with your business but gets noticed and add your logo to the front. Because people keep handwritten cards and if he or she has posted it at their desk or on their fridge or another area, it can get people to really ask about you, to start conversations. People are curious about it. That is a great way to add on to what you're already doing for your marketing and get more clients. But don't stop there. Inside, put a breadcrumb. What's a breadcrumb? A breadcrumb, think Hansel and Gretel, right? They drop the breadcrumbs down so they can get back home when they were done. They wouldn't get lost. Well, your breadcrumb is so when your prospect or your client is ready to come use you, your products, your services, they need to contact you, they have that breadcrumb, they have that branded item with your contact info so that they can find you again. You can use any of the items that we just talked about for the business card and you can put that inside the handwritten card as your breadcrumb. Now remember, if you're on a really tight budget, choose something that's flat, those are less expensive to mail out. If you're not on a tight budget or you know your lifetime value of your client allows for you to spend a little bit more, then you can do something that's a little thicker like the lip balm. Even that, it's not really that expensive. You just have to pick what's best for you. Okay, let's recap. Number one, the name badge. Something fun, something cool, having that visual so it's easy to be remembered and gets their attention. Number two is the business card and not that plain, old, boring paper business card that everybody else is handing out because you're not everybody else, you're different. And number three is the handwritten card. Following up, sending out that handwritten card, an essential step to really maximizing your networking, to build relationships, to stand out, to create an experience and be memorable. Those are the things that you need to be doing. Those are three essential, if you're not doing anything else, at least do those three things with your networking and you are going to notice a big difference in your business. You're gonna get more leads, you're gonna turn those leads into, into clients because you are showing them that they need to work with you, that you can really help them in their business. If you found this useful, please share this out, whether that's with a coworker or on social media, I would love your help with my mission to help more people with their marketing so it's not boring. So it's actually building relationships and people are excited to receive it. And remember to smile, because happy looks good on you. Have an amazing day.